So things become a little bit more fiddly when you're trying to rationalise the denominator for something that looks like this. Okay, we still have an irrational number in the denominator, this root 2. Uh, so root 2 plus 1 is also irrational. So what we need to do is we need to find a way of multiplying this by 1 and effectively eliminating the third from the denominator. Now that sounds quite complicated in the way that I've said that, okay? But there is a nice way of doing it. And really what it comes down to is the use that we found from uh, the difference of two squares. So how I mean that is that if I multiply this by root 2 minus 1 over root 2, minus 1, then really it's going to be just wait and see what happens here. So, we have three lots of root 2 minus 1. For the moment, I'm just going to write that as three lots of root 2 minus 1 in a bracket. Now, the denominators, when they multiply, you have root 2 times root 2, so that's 2. You've got root 2 times minus 1, so that's minus root 2. You've got 1 times root 2, so that's plus root 2. And you've got 1 times minus 1, so that's minus 1. Okay. Now what's happened here is that you should always get the two thirds cancelling one another out. So in actual fact, what I have is 3 root 2 minus 1 in the numerator, and I've got 2 take away 1, because this minus root 2 and the plus root 2 cancel one another out, so, and I'm just left with the 2 take away 1, so that's just 1. So what I can now say is that actually this is just 3 root 2 minus 3. 3 when I multiply out that bracket. And as you can see, this is going to be a lot easier for me to work with than this is. Okay? And that's the whole point. And that's what we want to do. Okay? So, how did I know that that was going to work? Well, if you think about... Um, Let's say um, when I said uh, completing the square, uh, not completing the square, sorry, um, the difference of two squares, okay, then if you've got, going back to your algebra, if you've got something like x minus 3, x plus 3, and you multiply those two things together, you get x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and minus 3 times 3 is minus 9. So, in the same way that the minus root 2 and the plus root 2 cancelled out, the plus 3x and the minus 3x cancel out, and you just get left with x squared minus 9. This is why, when you're given x squared minus 9 and you're asked to factorise it, you should know that this is the difference of two squares and are able to immediately go to these two brackets. So what you have here is that x could be any square, any third you like. It could be root 7, it could be uh, root 10, anything you like. But if you square that third, you will always get a rational number. So you'll get a rational number, take away a rational number, which is rational. Okay, so... What you want to do every single time that you have this or something similar on the denominator is you multiply it by a fraction top and bottom that is exactly the same thing, but you've changed the sign. Okay, so if this starts with a plus, then you want to multiply with something that is a minus between the two terms. If it were a minus, you need to multiply by a plus. Okay, and we'll see another example of this in the next video.